But back in high school, if you would have told me back in high school, if you would ask any of my friends back in high school that I would be doing fitness stuff, they would have laughed. I promise, I promise you they would have laughed, man. Um, in high school- I'm trying to get rid of I my life on pause on. Came up with my friends. Where would I be without y'all? I FaceTime my mom, told her that I'm home. MJ, how I ball, put that on my balls. I'm doing better. Your little baby just call me a shepherd. I can't stop until I'm at the top, making internet money just like I was Fletcher. All right, what is up, guys? Back for another video. It's a guy that's shy right now. I am about to record some outfit videos. I did some to let my hair dry a little bit. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok for all my outfit shit and fitness stuff. I'm posting all this stuff on there. On Instagram for fashion stuff, I'm posting like my outfit pictures on Instagram. I mean, on TikTok and on here, I'm posting videos on my outfits. Still posting fitness stuff like always on all my platforms. So links in the description for my Instagram and TikTok. And if you're watching this video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you don't want to subscribe, it's okay. I am being out quality content we weekly for you. So I would recommend subscribing. It's free content for you guys, fashion content, fitness content for free, man. If not, if you don't want to subscribe, at least leave a like. It really does help me. So for today's video, just a quick little video, I guess motivational content you can say, because I've said this before. Um, obviously, I want to get big on YouTube, get big on social media for a living, work out for a living, do fashion stuff for a living. Obviously, it's because that's going to benefit me. But I truly do think that my purpose in life is to motivate you guys, motivate you guys to follow your dreams, Find your passion, achieve your goals, and I'm happy when I can do that for somebody. So today I'm going to talk about um, it's okay if you don't know what you want to do. And I can see that my my analytics on my videos that my analytics that um, most people that watch my channel are around my age range. I'm 22. I'm about to turn 22 in a couple of days. Um, I the people most people that watch my channel are from 18 to 24 years old. But what I'm going to talk about it doesn't it can be any age. It doesn't matter how old you are, how young you are. This can apply to anybody. But specifically, people my age, we're about to be out of high school, we're in college, maybe we're not going to college, maybe we're not going to school, maybe we are in school, whatever your circumstances, a lot of people struggle with knowing what they want to do. You get asked that question all the time when you're growing up, even when you're in college, oh, what are you studying? Or when you're in high school, oh, what do you want to study when you grow up? What do you want to be when you grow up? Or if you're not in college, people's like, how come you're not in college? You know what you want to do? And it's a big subject that people always talk about. And I feel like when people, see even today, nowadays, people... Um, like when I talk to people, they're kind of like demeaning a little bit if, you don't, if you're not going to college or if you don't know what you want to do. And they kind of like pressure you to like figure out something that you want to do. And I'm here to tell you guys that it's okay if you don't know what you want to do. I'll give you a little bit of background, a little bit of background on me. Obviously now I am pursuing fitness and fashion content, social media content, all that stuff. I'm going to school to be a personal trainer. But at the end of the day, I want to just post YouTube stuff, post, uh, post YouTube, Instagram, social media stuff, be able to work out for a living, get paid for that and motivate you guys. But back in high school, if you would have told me back in high school, if you would ask any of my friends back in high school that I would be doing fitness stuff, they would have laughed. I promise. I promise you they would have laughed, man. Um, in high school, I played I played sports. I played basketball growing up. I love basketball. Basketball was my very, very, very first love growing up. I loved basketball. Played baseball as well. I ended up, I actually did end up playing college baseball for a little bit. But out of high school, I wanted to be a fat. I wanted to be in the fashion industry. I always love putting outfits together. You see, if you follow me on here or Instagram or TikTok, you see how I put either videos or pictures of my outfits together, like the whole outfit together. How my philosophy behind putting my outfits together. You've seen it before, and that's what I loved doing in high school. I always loved putting the outfits together. I did it for myself. I was obviously always one of the freshest kids in school. I always spent all my money on clothes. I was always one of those kids that showed up fly to school. Not only that, I did, did it for me. I used to help my friends create outfits. I helped my mom. I even helped my girlfriend to this day pick their outfits out. Something I still love doing to this day. So I wanted to do that. I wanted to do fashion. So I was playing college baseball and taking some fashion classes. And first semester into it, I just didn't, I didn't really love it, man. Just that, cause when you, when you're going into the fashion industry, you have to learn about the history of fashion, fashion design, the different fabrics. And that just didn't want, that's not what I wanted to do. I wasn't interested in that. So I just put that aside for a little bit. And I was like, that's not truly what I love. And so, um, play college baseball was that I went through a little bit of depression. Um, didn't really know where I was going, what I was doing, just kind of just went on through life. I was playing baseball, but I didn't really truly love it. Like it was fun, but I never truly loved it. And then I started working out because of college baseball. And every time I went to the gym, I was happy. It helped me with my depression, all that stuff, right? But then it was went, a year or two went by at me. I, I mean, I would go to the gym. I would love going to the gym, right? I would love going to the gym. I would do this. I would see people on social media and be like, dang, that's cool, man. That's cool that they, they're able to post social uh, fitness content and like they get paid for it but i was too afraid or maybe not afraid is the right word but just wasn't honest with myself that working out and fitness was like what i truly loved right and now i'm posting fitness stuff and i love it man i'm not the biggest youtuber i don't have the biggest social media following i'm not even making money off this it's literally just something i do on the side of my other two jobs that i can hopefully do it one day right 
but I found my passion. I found my passion. I love it. And that's what I want to do. I want to put fitness and fashion content for a living and I'm doing it right. So the point of that, the point of me showing you stories, because I went from playing college baseball, doing fashion stuff to fitness. And I promise you, if you would have told people in high school that knew me, that I was going to work out, they would have laughed because in high school, I skipped weight room for all, for all my sports. Never went to weight room because it was optional, right? Never went, hung out with my friends, did, just did some bullshit with my friends instead of going to weight room. I was like, I don't need to work out, man. Like I used to kind of make fun of like, like meatheads, right? And look at me now. I do it for a living. So my, the point of this is to say, it's okay if you don't know what you want to do. Don't let people pressure into you to pressure you into doing something you don't want to do or don't feel stressed or scared they don't know what to do that you don't know what you want to do but what i will say is don't be lazy and don't just put it off don't just be like mm, i don't know what i want to do so I'm, I'm just gonna chill at home and do nothing or if you're at school just just to go to school because your parents want you to or if it's the right thing to do i just don't think that's the right thing to do man just keep trying stuff out you're gonna find something that you eventually love or maybe you do have something you already love and you're just too afraid to pursue it like how i was with fitness i was too afraid to pursue it and i just finally did so it's okay if you don't know what you want to do but just keep trying stuff out or if you have that thing in the back of your mind that you really, truly want to do, just do it. Another example I give is this, there's this guy I work with. There's a guy I work with who likes gaming, right? He likes gaming. Like he likes playing competitive gaming and he streams a little bit, but um, he started going like really into it. And now he's like really loving it. And he's like, okay, I really want to do this. But for the longest time, he was afraid to just go all into it and do it. That's another example. It's the same thing with me. So if you already have that thing that you know you love doing, I, I'd say just follow that, man. You're going to get backlash from the people you love. You're going to get backlash from your friends, your family. But it's okay. At the end of the day, if you love doing it and you're successful, when you're successful at the end of the day, not, you're not even going to remember them telling you that. So that's just what goes to my head. Come to this video. I have, a, I have My brain just works weird like that. I'll be at work. I'll be working out. And I'll just think of like stuff like that. Like, hmm, I should make a video on this. Because I do think it's going to help you guys. I hope it does. Even if it doesn't, I'll put it out there. It's probably going to help somebody. But yeah, guys, that this, the, the point of the video is just, it's okay if you don't know what you want to do. It's okay if you don't know what you're going to do in your future. It's okay if you are afraid to follow your dreams, if you're afraid to follow your passion, or if you don't even have a passion. Just keep If you don't have one, just keep doing stuff. You'll eventually find something you like, and then as soon as you like it, follow it. If you already have that thing, follow it, man. So yeah, just a short video for you guys, a little bit of motivational content. I want all you guys to follow your dreams, man. I want all you guys to follow your passion. If you ever have any questions or anything, feel free to DM me, Snapchat me. If you have my number, text me. I, prom I promise I don't mind at all. I'm really here to help you guys follow your dreams, man. You can do whatever you want, man. Remember that. I'm just a sneakerhead who works out and following his dreams, man. Thanks. Leave a like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Links me in the description. Do what you love. Follow your dreams, man. I don't see no red light, someone go, bitch Two see the beamer, you can't smoke this I don't fuck with ops, watching who I roll with La Ferrari, shawty, skirt off like it's stolen I don't see no red light, someone go, bitch Two see the beamer, you can't smoke